Hey guys, uh, here is the next supplement I wanted to throw in. I, I mentioned there were a couple of things I wanted to cover. Um, this one is for covalent compounds. We're going to go into plenty of detail about how um, covalent compounds form their bonds and what those bonds are and so on. But something I wanted to stress that will probably help you to understand why I talk about uh, covalent c compounds as sharing electrons in a way that ionic compounds don't. So let's look at water. Okay. Here's hydrogen, here's another hydrogen, and here is oxygen. Okay. So those are the Lewis dot symbols. This is another place they come really in handy. Okay, so what happens when you form a covalent bond is each uh, element uh, donates, or each atom, I should say, donates an electron. And that gets you a bond. Okay. Um, the bond is where the electrons spend most of their time. Remembering quantum mechanics, the actual locations are a little bit fuzzy, but it's where they spend most of their time is in between the two atoms inside that bond. So every bond is equal to two electrons. Okay. So for hydrogen and oxygen, uh, you have uh, two electrons in between oxygen and this hydrogen, one from uh, hydrogen, one from oxygen, and for this one, another pair of electrons. One from hydrogen, or one from the other hydrogen, and a different electron from oxygen. Okay. So that is what covalent bonds are. That's why they're called covalent. Co as in sharing, valent as in uh, valence electrons. Right. Uh, and that will do it for this supplement here.